Hello everybody and welcome back to the Marble Summer Championship 2021 qualifiers. Today we have our third and fourth events of the competition and they will be swimming and block pushing. So first up, it's going to be swimming and in these first heats, we're going to be putting the marbles into positions where they can get points when they go up against other marbles who have the same place in the group stage and right now it's Atlantis, but Parrot has come all the way up from the back and he's going to try and hold on to second and he does right over Cloudstorm who's having a really bad tournament so far and he desperately needed to rebound here but being in the bottom half of the points because of this is not going to help him. And Atlantis just hangs on here as they kind of disappear behind the scorecard for a little second. But Atlantis, it's close at the end, and maybe if the race was just a little bit longer, Parrot may have been able to catch him, but he hangs on pretty comfortably. Now for our next race, it's the Wasp with the lead. How about the battle for a second? The Lightning and Hurricane touch a couple of times. Now Hurricane slips to the back of Lightning, looking to go for the draft move. Can he get him to the high side? It does not look like it, but a veteran move from Hurricane just doesn't work out on an equally veteran competitor right there. See, they get very physical right there in the beginning stage of this race, touching each other a couple of times, and then Alain's able to push Hurricane off, and then Hurricane gets right onto the back of him and just can't make the move in time. And that was the main battle of this race. His first and fourth place did not change throughout the entire race. Now our next group, it's Cherry with the lead. And battle for second between Prairie Grass and Peacock. Now Nightfall's gonna try and get in there. Looks to go draft behind Peacock. Now into second place. Now gonna go try and make the move for first. He does! Oh my goodness! Nightfall goes from first all the way coming up from last. A huge move from him, and we'll have to see how this happens. So it looks like there's three. Then he gets into that drafting position on Peacock, just kind of pushes him out of the way there. Physical racing style proving to be quite effective so far. And then he just slams the door on Cherry and is able to win that race. And Cherry. He's able to hang on for a second, though, looked for a short second like he might not even get that. And now, it looks like Great White Shark and Minty are going to be the main battle to watch here as Minty trying to find a way past Great White Shark, still looking physical racing. Great White Shark just blocking, although he's really low on speed. As they come to the line, it might just be Minty at the end, and it is. Minty with a huge finish, and that has got to be as close to a tie race as you can possibly think. And right here, it looks like Great White Shark is just trying to block too much. They practically stop moving forward at that point. Just fighting each other straight to the end. And Minty just barely gets it right there. Stops moving right before Great White Shark does. That's how you can tell that Minty won that race. So huge from him. And now another group with three marbles to the high side. Slenderman tries to block low. He's in a little bit of trouble here. There's chances for other marbles to get back. Here comes Ocean Breeze and Monarch. They fight, but Ocean Breeze able to hang on for a second here. And for a short time there, Monarch was holding on. And then he had to go deal with blocking Cyclone there. He goes low. And then he basically isolates the three at the top. He just doesn't have the speed to bring it back. And Ocean Breeze almost gets um, Slenderman out of the way there. And again, maybe if the race was just a bit longer, we could be looking at a completely different story. And now we're into the points races here. As you can see, there's five marbles in every group. These are the marbles who got four in their group stage races. It's Cyclone. He's right up the middle trying to hold everyone off. Here comes Bumblebee. Here comes Grayscale. Here comes Demon's Eye. It's very close. And the finishing order is like that. Even though a couple of marbles get blocked, we just uh, base them off of where they would have finished had they not been blocked. And that is the finishing order right there. So Cyclone. I mean, he just doesn't make a decision to go who to block. And maybe that was the right call here because he's just able to focus on his race and just barely outlast the team of Grayscale and Bumblebee right there at the end as they were trying to push each other towards the win. Now the Marbles who got third in their group stage races and it's Royalty up the middle with the lead. Now it goes to Peacock and here comes Cloudstorm on a huge run. He might have the win here. Monarch, Peacock both challenging. Who's going to get it? Cloudstorm in second place just barely goes to Peacock hanging on for dear life at the end right there. Big racing though coming out from Royalty as he has the lead then kind of just falters back and thankfully for him He's in a position where it really doesn't matter if he does bad in this one. He was already towards the top of the standings, but that is definitely uh, a missed opportunity for points from him. As Hurricane comes through in fourth, he's another Marble closer to the top, so you can just get it back in the final one, and you should be pretty good to go. So now Marbles, they got second in their group, and it's Lightning with the lead, but there's three, now four Marbles there. Great White Shark is trying to make the move on Lightning. Doesn't look like he's going to get it. Now Parrot's going to go try and make the move, and Parrot gets past Great White Shark at the end as well. Great White Shark is seriously just struggling to hold on and knock uh, some marbles out of the way here. He always seems to do this in the first race as well. 
he was holding off Minty, and then right at the end, he lost it, and right here again, he just loses it at the last second on Parrot, and unfortunate for Great White Shark, just not really bringing the closing ability that you want to see from him. And now our final race, Nightfall with the lead, but Slenderman is side by side. Now Slenderman kind of falls back, still close to him, goes to try and make the move to the low side. It's not going to happen, and Slenderman will take second, but Nightfall, who is in a terrible position entering this event, is going to get a huge boost of 20 points in first place here, and that basically saves his tournament. And, I mean, just making it to the finals in general was big, but getting the most points possible is going to make this even more important for him. And we'll have to check out the overall standings right after we see the in-event standings here. And as you can see, Nightfall first, Slenderman second, Minty third, Wasp fourth, Atlantis fifth. That's the results from the uh, finals race. Then they're ordered within their respective races. So let's see how Nightfall hopped up. And he's just on the borderline. There are three marbles with 31 points as we go into the final race. And then the Wasp with 32. There are still nobody who is guaranteed safe in that little group right there at the back of the uh, uh, the back of the safe marbles and then uh, the top of the not safe marbles so it's very close and it really will come down to our final event block pushing which is again going to be taking place on this little open area here we have the measuring uh, tape out there and that's going to make sure we know how far every push goes we'll round all of them to the nearest quarter inch so uh, that's just how scoring works, and they'll be scored as part of an entire group here rather than within their group. So, our first group here is going to be Wasps, Great White Shark, Peacock, and Cyclone. And down they go. Big push comes out from the Wasps, but Cyclone's push is right there with them, and it's so close, but it looks like it's going to go to Cyclone. Oh my goodness, even the battle for third and fourth is just so close, and if you look at the little uh, lines to where they were drawn, that is just about as close as it gets. Unbelievable, but Cyclone beats out the Wasp, but both very good pushes for them. That's definitely going to help their standings, although Cyclone looks to be a little bit too far out at this point. But hey, it's still good for his confidence for next season. So, our next group goes down, and it's a huge push for the uh, man who was doing the green block, and that one was Grayscale there. A massive push, and that puts him in provisional first place. And that one's up towards 15. I think that's 1475 is when we round it, but that one... Uh, no really close within the group, but overall, uh, good for Grayscale here. He's pretty much locked in already, and that uh, push practically assures it. Now, a marble who desperately needs a big push was Prairie Grass, and unfortunately for him, it's the worst push in his group, and it slots him into provisional 8th place right now, and that is simply just not going to be enough to advance into the main championship at this point, so looks like it could be the end of the road, and then you see the blue and yellow bricks, which are super close there, and just barely decided by... Uh, the line drawing. So now, have two more groups to go, and there are a couple of marbles who are right on the fringe. One of them is Minty, but a terrible push for Minty. That green brick causing some trouble. It caused Prairie Grass some trouble, and now Minty in 14th place right now, and right now, I don't think that's going to mean enough. He was on the fringe of making it, and now it looks like that might just be it for him. Coming so close, but so far. And now for our final group, Big push coming out from Bumblebee, and this one might be the furthest of the day. It's 16 flat, and it's completely the furthest of the day, unchallenged so far from Bumblebee. And he was another marble that was right on the fringe. I don't even think he was in the competition entering this event, but that one is going to lock him in. Huge stuff from him. And then Great White Shark, another marble who is on the fringe of making it and not making it. One point, that might be it for him. We check the overall standings. And yes, Nightfall makes it in, Bumblebee makes it in, those are a couple that were on the fringe, Wasps make it in, but then some key ones that don't, Minty, Demon's Eye, Cherry, Great White Shark, all so close, within 5 points of making it, but just cannot, unfortunate stuff for them and their fans, they'll have to try again in the offseason circuit. I hope you do enjoy the qualifiers though, that'll conclude our qualifying session, we'll have another episode next week with some of the pre-qualified marbles. And then, until then, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and then, take care.